Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today I'll be going over Tottenham's first win in almost four games as they faced off against Coventry City in the EFL Carabao Cup in the first round. Um, by no means was it a good performance at all, but somehow, some by some means, we got the job done. Jed Spence and Brennan Johnson scoring uh, in the last four minutes of the match got us through to the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Um, but if you watch the game today, you will know that the numbers, um, the goal numbers did not tell the story at all. We, albeit having most of the possession, we were dominated in terms of attack. Um, Coventry were more dangerous the entire time. They had the drive, they had the passion, they, they were going forwards. They were the ones who wanted to win for most of the game. Um, we looked uninspirational today. We didn't really have like... Uh, that spark about us that we had last season. There was no creativity, um, if I'm being honest. Even though we held 70% of the possession, we still gave up 15 shots from Coventry to our nine. And even from those nine, only four of the shots were actually on target. So we really struggled today um, in the attack. When we go to our players and see who was best, I'd say our defense was quite okay. I mean, we were getting undone. Um, very easily by long balls over the top. It was pretty shocking how just one long ball would take us out completely. Ben Davies made an excellent uh, clearance on the goal line to deny Coventry going ahead before they did eventually go ahead through Thomas Asante in the 63rd minute, Judd Spence equalized in the 88th, and Brennan Johnson in the 90 plus second minute got us the win in the third round. Uh, if we look to midfield, um, we didn't have anyone particularly inspirational. Bergvall was not the spark that we've seen from him. Uh, Saar was industrious to say, um, but I think Ben Dunker probably put out the best performance, uh, providing the assist too for um, the Brennan Johnson goal. Um, but the attack was the most shocking part. I mean, we I think we really missed Odobert today. He was on for 18 minutes um, and then pulled up short with an injury, uh, looked like a hamstring, and then Ange came out and said after the match that it looked serious. So. That's certainly going to be a worry point from us because we've got Premier League, we've got Europa League, and we've got Carabao Cup matches coming up, um, and quite a number of them. Solanke was, uh, again, not very inspiring, but I think that has to do with not having a, a real creative output in midfield. And Timo Werner just... Um, I didn't see any... We didn't see anything from him, and then he also went down with an ankle injury in the 74th minute. So um, we'll have to see how that goes. But losing two of our, our attackers at this point in, uh, in the season is very, very worrying, especially when we've already got Richarlison out. Basuma's been out for a little bit. Um, so it's definitely not a good look for us. Um, in terms of substitutes, Kulusevsky changed the game today. Uh, I think he completely turned it around. But Brennan Johnson eventually settled into the game with the goal. Jed Spence looked lively. Um, but I think it was Kulusevsky who really turned the game around for us. Uh, which is something we haven't said in a long time. I think Kulisevsky has not been the um, game changer that we've needed. Um, but finally today, he really showed that and at the right time because um, a lot of Spurs fans will say that we've seen this exact same game played out um, over the last seven years and we lose every time. Whether it was uh, Colchester under Pochettino, we've lost. I, I, I can't remember who we lost to last year. Uh, Fulham, we lost to last year. And it's always got the same characteristics about it. You know, we've got Ben Davies as, as captain, or we've got, you know, the backup keeper in goal. Um, it's always got the same characteristics about it. Um, this time we were lucky enough to get through, but it is definitely a worrying sign on the part of Ange Postacoglu. Um, why are we struggling against Coventry? Uh, the big thing is, why are we struggling to make... To, why are we giving up so many easy chances for them to attack? They should have scored at least three goals within the first half. Um, or first 70 minutes. It was insane how well they were playing, but we were getting undone with uh, one ball over the top, which was definitely concerning because we should not be, we should have a tight defense against these kind of teams. Um, and to be that loose in defense was really, really worrying. Um, he, I think he'll figure it out. He has to. Um, I don't, I don't see a sacking of him on the horizon at all. I mean, you know, if, if we if we think this is the manager to stick out with, then we're not going to just drop him after a couple of losses. It'll take a little longer. But it'll definitely be interesting to see how he manages these next few weeks, particularly um, with the loss of two attacking players who he will have wanted to, to rely on, particularly Wilson Odobert. Um, I think he's been a really exciting player 
that so uh, missing him for the next couple games is going to be slightly worrying um and Solanke has not been impressed yet I think that's very much down to the lack of performance in midfield uh but I think we really need Richarlison back I think no, something about Richarlison and the way he plays um it, it's 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 a he's he's very uh able to get goals at times and so I think bringing him back into the team might give us a little bit of a refresher of goals and it'll give Solanke some competition too um in that striker position because I think we need re all the attacking output we need we have uh we can get um if we go to stats it was not a much brighter um appearance from the st statistics yeah we got 70 percent possession but you know we only had nine shots to their 15 uh, they had four shots on target. We had three. So we were really struggling. Um, in the first half alone, we had zero shots, and they had four shots. So definitely a worrying performance uh, towards the first half of the game. Second half, it uh, started to brighten up. But definitely we're going to have to um, improve. I think most uh, Spurs fans will be re relieved that we uh, took out a win here because I don't think our hearts could have handled another loss, especially to Coventry City um, in the first round of the Carabao Cup. So... Getting a win today was really crucial, um, but we are going to have to definitely firm it up again because we've got Brentford at home, then Carabag FK in the Europa League, Man United um, away, Ferran Cavados in the Europa League, and then Brighton, West Ham, AZ Alkmaar. Um, so we've got a tough run, and that's that. So we've got um, one, two, three. We've got about five matches in the next three weeks alone. So we're going to need all cylinders firing, especially on the attack. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the injuries affect us. Hopefully, Werner can come back because while he's not been performing, he's still an out, uh, an option, you know, to at least play on the field. Um, but that's it for our, my reactions to Cov uh, Tottenham's win over Coventry City in the third round of the Carabao Cup as we beat them by two goals to one thanks to Jed Spence and Brennan Johnson's goals. If you enjoyed and want to see more Spurs content, uh, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Comment down below your thoughts on the game and how far do you think Spurs will get in the Carabao Cup? given their recent form. Please let us know in the comments. And until next time, come on you Spurs.